Welcome back to my channel. It's Emma if you're new here. So today I'm going to be telling you guys how to cram for AP testing because it is upon us the dreaded two weeks of long long tests in early mornings and just death basically. So if you're like me and you wait till the last minute to do everything then just keep on watching this video to see how to ace your AP tests. Sorry if my voice sounds kind of scratchy, you guys. I am super sick, and that's why this video is a little bit more delayed than I wanted it to be, but I hope that this is still helpful. My first tip to AP exams is to get prep books. I didn't get a prep book for every single test, but I have AP Calculus, AP Macro and Micro, Econ, AP Psych, AP Bio, AP Lang, and finally, AP Calc AB. As far as prep books go, I would recommend just like going on Amazon and either getting like the best rated one or the cheapest one. They honestly all do the exact same thing. I know that um, if you get really nitpicky, there's like different wording of questions or some books do more specific questions. Some do more like long, broad questions. But yeah, it's all personal preference. I kind of just picked like the top rated ones for each subject. But when you go through a prep book I don't really go through like from start to finish I recommend taking practice tests scoring them and then seeing where your weak areas are and then going into like the notes section of the books and just kind of refreshing yourself and teaching yourself what you're weak in also I like to take notes when I'm going through these books I don't highlight because highlighting is just like super bad for your memory and studies show that you will literally just forget whatever you highlight. So don't highlight your books. But what I do recommend is when you go through, really skim and comprehend what you're reading and figure out what you don't know and just kind of make a list of what you don't know so you know what to review the hardest. And the stuff that you do know, you don't have to review at all if you don't want. So that is my first tip, is using prep books, taking practice exams, seeing where your weak areas are, and then studying them. My next tip is to go through your notes, or if you have like study guides from each unit or chapter that your teacher provided to you, I'd recommend getting all those together and again just going through and seeing, okay, I know this, I don't know this, and just making a master list of everything that you don't know and need to review. Once you have this master list, you can go to your prep book, you can find online practice problems, or you can just look through your textbook and find those specific no areas of where you're confused. All right, so another tip for taking an AP test and acing it is to know the structure of each exam because they can be really different. Some have essays, some have FRQs, most of them have multiple choice. How many minutes you have and how many questions you have so you know how to time it and so you can just kind of be aware of that while you're taking the test because I know that some tests are really really fast and you have to like cram and plan really well and some are really long and you have a lot of time to plan and you can just kind of take your time. Okay, so now that you've crammed all your information, what I like to do is go through and see when I'm taking which test and kind of mentally prepare. So I tell myself, okay, I need this calculator on this day, I need this many pencils and I need a pen for this one. So you know exactly what you need on which day and so it's just like one less thing to stress about on the morning of. That brings me to the night before an AP test. I mean, I personally cram the last night because I really wait till the last second to study, but AP usually recommends that you don't study, that you go to bed pretty early, you just kind of relax and let your brain kind of absorb information, and you get a good night's rest, which never happens for me. Also the night before, you wanna get everything that you need ready, so that's pencils, number two, pens, black or blue ink, calculators, and you need to make sure you know which type of calculator you're allowed to use, because I know some science tests don't allow you to use graphing calculators, so just make sure you have all that stuff like in a bag, so you can literally just like grab it and go when you're running late the next day, because that's always me. So that is the night before, and then you're at the morning of your AP exam. I like to try Try to be early because if I'm late and I'm rushing then it really stresses me out and I just can't be stressed when I'm taking these tests so I try to be early I try to like get a good parking spot listen to some good music before getting a good good vibes 
state make sure you eat breakfast usually in my school like they'll just provide like muffins and water and stuff for us to eat which is really nice but if your school doesn't do that then make sure you eat a really good breakfast and not like really heavy carbs that are just gonna like weigh you down and make you tired that's not fun it's not also i recommend having water for the breaks because you just like get thirsty randomly like it's weird it's just these tests that do it to you it's weird I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and I hope that you guys all do really well on your AP tests. If it's your first year, don't freak out. I know I was super, super stressed my first year and I only had one and this year I'm taking three. Last year I took three. You are going to be fine, I promise. Just do your best and then forget the rest because there's literally nothing you can do about it and you won't find out until July so you don't have to tell people your scores. I know you guys are gonna do awesome. And if you're really stressed, make sure you watch other videos about AP exams. I know a lot more people that go into like depth and they show like their specific notes and everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. And I wanna say thank you for 2,000 subscribers. Like I'm so shocked that we've reached 2,000. That is so crazy to me. And I thank you guys all for being here. I love all of you. Thank you for commenting. It makes my day. So don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below so you don't miss my new videos. Hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload. And comment down below what you thought. Bye guys. See you next time. Good luck at your AP test. Don't procrastinate like I do.